Okay, we're going to be looking at the maximum and minimum values of a quadratic function. So we know that for f of x <coughs> equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b and c are constants and a does not equal to zero. Um, we know that is a quadratic function. This is the, the general form of a of a quadratic function. Um, the graph of a quadratic function is a parabola. So a parabola. Um, will always have either a minimum or a maximum. And this point here and here on our minimum and max minimum or maximum is called the vertex of the parabola. Now if a is greater than zero, we get a minimum. <coughs> so if a is greater than zero, we think we get the valley shape. If a is less than zero, therefore negative, we get a maximum. Um, it's important to be able to look at a quadratic function and be able to work out some of its basic um, features. So we want to be able to know the basic general shape of a graph. We want to be able to know where it cuts the the y-axis and the x-axis. Um, and we want to know the coordinates of the point of, ver of the vertex. So we're going to be exploring um, some of these skills in this lesson. Now interestingly, if you think about, if you were to think about this parabola, through the minimum point, through this 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 ver vertex, is a point of symmetry. Similarly, similarly, with the maximum, if you were to rotate the parabola around the line of symmetry, you'd get a three-dimensional shape called a parabola paraboloid. Um, and these are really quite important. They've got lots of practical applications. Satellite dishes are paraboloids. Um, so yeah, these are interesting shapes that have lots of practical applications in the real world. So, let's look at an example. Let's look at f of x equals x squared minus 3x minus 4. So the first thing that we're going to do is find where it cuts, where it cuts the x-axis and y-axis interception points. So for the for y equals 0, so where it cuts the, the y, for x equals 0, where it cuts the uh, so we're going to it cuts the y-axis. We're going to find we're going to find out what f of zero is. Zero will be zero minus zero minus four. So the point where it cuts the y-axis is going to be zero minus four. Now we want to find out where it cuts um, as where it cuts the y-axis. So we want to find out where it cuts the x-axis. So when y equals 0. So we're going to set this to 0. x squared minus 3x minus 4 equals 0. We're going to factorise this. So we're going to have x x, we're going to have minus 
4 plus 1 equals 0, so x equals 4, x equals minus 1. So there will be two points where it cuts the x-axis at 4, 0 and minus 1, 0. So let's start to draw this thing. X axis and we've got a Y axis. So we've got 0 minus 4. This is minus 4. And we've got 4, 0. So it's be 4, 0. And we've got this place put it down minus. And it's 0 minus 4. And we've got minus 1 0 so we can see <coughs> it's going to be coming down and then at some point here it's going to start to rise now the line of symmetry will be we now need to find the line of symmetry. That cuts the x-axis and meets the vertex. So that's going to be halfway between these points. So if we just think about it, we've got it cuts the x axis at minus one and four. The halfway point between these is going to be one and a half or three over two. Um, so this will be about here. 1.5 um, so we're now going to put this back in so one and a half will be the x, the chord, the x coordinate of the vertex so let's find what x of 1.5 is we're going to put this in as a, a fraction so 3 over 2 squared minus 3 3 over 2 minus 4 Doing all of that, we will come up with minus 25 over 4. Um, so down here will be minus, that um, will be 3 over 2 minus 25 over 4. So we press sketch. Oh dear, indeed. That was terrible. I'll draw that nicely. So go up there. And then up there. Um, it's a very rough idea of our paraboloid. Now, there is another way to do this. And we're going to look at that. We we'll write the function down again. We had f of x equals x squared minus 3x minus 4. Now we can use completing the square to give us the, all this, in, this information. So we, the first part, finding the x and y, where it cuts the x and y axis. Um, you would still do x, x equals 0 and then you would find the point where it's going to cut the y-axis then you would find the point where it's going to cut the x-axis. But for the midpoint, if, let's, put, let's look at um, what we get in the group and the square. So, this is going to equal x minus 3 over 2 squared minus 
3 over 2 squared minus 4, which is x minus 3 over 2 squared minus 25 over 4. Now this looks familiar. So let's think about this more deeply. Um, let's make that y. Think about the y coordinate. When the thing in the bracket here, um, the smallest value, value of this must be zero because you can't get a negative because you're going to square it. So when this is zero, y must be minus 25 over 4, which therefore must be the minimum value. And that must be when x equals 3 over 2. Because 3 over 2 minus 3 over 2 gives us a 0, which will then make y equal to minus 25 over 4. So that is our minimum point. 3 over 2 minus 25 over 4. Now this result sheds some light on a more general um, result that we can utilise when we're doing these types looking at these types of questions, um, types of problems. So let's look at the general version again. So we know that f of x equals a x squared plus bx plus c. <coughs> and that can be written as a x minus h squared plus k. The line of symmetry x must be h which must be minus b over 2a. If a is greater than 0, there is a minimum point at h, k. If a is less than 0, there is a maximum point at h k. So let's use this idea in a work example. So we're going to have y is 16x minus 7 minus 4x squared. So completing the square is going to give us um, put the nine we lose nine minus four x minus two squared. The maximum this is a maximum because a in this case is less than zero. Value, the maximum value of 9 minus 4, x minus 2 squared is 9. Um, and this has to be when x equals 2 because when x equals 2 
this is all going to be, this bit here will be 0 when x equals 2. So 9 must be the maximum value. So the maximum is going to be 2, 9. The line of symmetry will be x equals 2. Now we want to think about where it's crossing the x and y axis. So when x equals 0, y must be slotting 0 into here, it must be minus 7. So we've got 0 minus 7 for where it cuts the y axis. And for y equals 0, we are going to do 4 minus 9 minus 4, x minus 2 squared. So we will equal 0. So we will have um, 4, x minus 2 squared equals 9. x minus 2 squared will be 9 over 4. So x minus 2 is going to be square root of that will be plus or minus um, 3 over 2. So x will be either 3 halves or a half. So our crossing the x-axis will be 3 halves 0 or a half 0. So we draw this sketch of this. So we've got crossing the x-axis, we're going to have half here, we're going to have 3 and a half here, and we've got x equals to 2 here. This is going to probably up like that. This here is going to be 9. I hope that helps.